Hey, if you want more people to like you and you want more people to think you're interesting, then what I found is be curious like when you were 10 years old. You know, have you ever been around a 10 year old kid? You know, they're like, you know, well, how does that plane stay up in the sky? Or how do those flowers turn a certain color? You know, they ask all these really great, interesting questions. And so what I have found is that, you know, when I study high performing people, one of the things that's interesting is the ones that I kind of come away from with going, feeling warm and feeling great about those people and thinking they're cool are the ones that ask a lot of questions. You know, they really want to know, you know, you might, for me, I might say, you know, I'm in the mortgage business and they might, they're not going to just leave it at that. They want to explore that. They want to learn all they can from me about the mortgage business, not about just what the interest rate is. They want to know, oh, you know, well, how do you get your customers and, you know, day to day, how do you do stuff? And like, how many employees do you have? Now, what do those employees do? They just get more and more curious. And they, every time I give them an answer, they want, they've got more questions from that answer. And so I call it being curious like a 10 year old. And when you do that, people, I don't know why they, they know that you really want to know more about them or about what they do or about their life and or about their trip they just went on. And it makes you feel warm. It makes you feel like these people really care about me and what's going on in my life. So start trying to be a little bit more curious. You know, recently I had a guy call me and and uh, he said, hey, I'm, I, I want to come talk to you. And, and so we were having a conversation and he said, I, th I think I'm going to run for mayor. I said, oh, okay. And, and I was a person I didn't know. And I know a lot of people in my town, but I've never met this guy. But he's telling me that he's one of the most well-known people in our town and that a lot of people are encouraging him to run for mayor. And he goes on and on and talks about all the great things he's done in life and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, and after about 30 minutes of him telling me how great he was, he said, what do you think? Think I should run for mayor? And I said, no. I said, I wouldn't vote for you. I said, you'd lose. He said, why? And I said, well, I've been here for 30 minutes and all you've talked about is yourself. You know, you haven't asked me what I, can, what I think about what our city needs or you haven't asked me anything about my opinion. You know, you call me to talk to me about wanting to run for mayor, but you haven't gotten my opinion. All you've done is vomit all over me about yourself for the last 30 minutes. And that's what happens with a lot of folks, especially if you're a salesperson. You have a tendency to go in and just start talking all about yourself. Try to not do that, man. Try to be more curious about the people in front of you. you don't really, you don't really have to sell anybody anything. You just need to find solutions. And the only way you find solutions is by learning more about the other person and what's going on and what their issues are, what's good, what's bad, and how you might could fit in. Because if you can figure that out by being curious and you learn about their business, then you provide a solution and then it's probably a long-term play for you. It's probably a relationship that stays in place because you know what's important to them and you're trying to handle that properly. You're not there just to sell them and wonder if they're going to be back next year. So start being more curious. And so think about questions that you can ask people. And basically is just kind of think of yourself like a reporter. You know, I really need to know this and, and I want to be able to tell other people about it. And I want to kind of dig down deep with this person. I want to every. You know, when they say something, I want to go, okay, do I really, am I clear, 100% clear on how that works? Because if you're not, then like, okay, I don't understand that. You know, I know you do X, Y, Z, but I mean, really, how does that work? And I find people love to talk about what they, what they do or, or about themselves. And it just, you just learn a lot, you know, and I use that same thing to kind of learn more about my community. So a lot of times people will ask me like, hey, what's going on over there on that corner? I see that building's being, you know, remodeled or I see they cleared that land. So it gives me an opportunity to be curious about, you know, I don't know either. So now I have a reason to contact somebody that might know. It might be because of the sign of the real estate company or it might be somebody I call the city and say, hey, what's going on in that corner? Or I call a city councilman and try to learn about what's going on. So being curious about not only what's what's going on with somebody else's business, but being curious about what's going on in the environment around me with, you know, with with my town. But I also want to be curious about my work. I want to learn more about what I do. I want to go more I want to be more pro in my sport on what I do. So when I'm talking to somebody else that's maybe doing some 
something differently than I am. I want to dig down on that. I want to get curious. I really want to figure it out. I want to learn to be better about it. So bottom line is y'all being curious and asking more questions will get you further than most anything I know. And I think that the Warren Buffett's of the world and people like that, they were really good at being curious and really trying to ask a lot of questions and learn a lot about it. Because I heard that like when Warren Buffett would buy a company, that's what he would do. He'd want you to walk him around the place. He'd want to talk to the employees. He's like, okay, you work on this machine. Tell me about this machine and tell me about your family and all. And how does that work and blah, blah, blah. So I think people that are really cool are more curious. Hey, if you need some help with that, it's your sales team and learn about how to be more curious, give me a call. I'd love to come talk to them.